Today, I want to talk about planning for your plan to fail because it's going to. It's going to from time to time. And you know what? It's okay. And it's normal. And all that means is that you are human. <laughs> Things are going to come up. Things are going to not work out the way that you wanted them to all the time. We aren't perfect. The world isn't perfect. And there's always going to be setbacks, but it's how you handle those setbacks uh, that really determines your long-term success. And the more you can prepare ahead of time, not just monetarily and with your finances, because of course that's important, but mentally. Like how you prepare mentally for those setbacks will really help um, project and uh, determine how well you do in the long term, because this is a long term game. It is not a short term get rich quick and live your best life forever with no problems and no issues forever. Like that's not, <laughs> that's not reality, right? So things are always going to come up. The more you can prepare for them now and mentally prepare, financially prepare, the better off you will be. And when things happen, it'll just be like, oh, well, I mean, it sucks, but I'll be okay and move on. So you know, it's more important to just get started and get going than it is to sit and worry about, oh, well, I'm not going to be able to do that. It's, you know, I don't know how to get started. I don't know what to do. So you just stay stuck where you are. And then a year from now, you're going to be in the same exact place. So if you really want to get going and get moving and in a year from now, be at least closer to where you wanna be, be closer to paying off some debt, being closer to saving some money, you know, being closer to not living paycheck to paycheck. Well, hopefully in a year, you're not living paycheck to paycheck at that point. Like a year is a long time that you can at least, you know, do that. You may not pay off all your debt, but you know what? In a year, you can pay off a lot of debt, um, but you have to get started and you have to get going. And so you can't let that fear of failure, the fear of not doing it right, that fear of feeling like, what's the point? I'm always going to be in this situation. Keep you where you are now because there's always room for growth. There's always room for change. No matter how much you make, no matter how old you are, no matter how much debt you have, you will be so amazed at how much progress you really can make in a very short amount of time in the grand scheme of things. Okay. We're on this earth for, you know, 70, 80, 100 years, you know, what do you want to take out of life? And what kind of example do you want to set for your children and your grandchildren? Um, you know, do you want them to see that you tried and that you uh, worked towards your goals? Or would you rather just stay where you're at and just keep living paycheck to paycheck? Okay, because that what you do now reflects your values and reflects you know how you want to do things and show your family and what values you have in this world so do you want to show them that it's possible do you want to show them that you can do hard things no matter your age no matter your income like you can still do the things that you want to do you just have to get going you have to get started and you just need to start so if you want to get going, you want to get started, grab your free budget starter kit at budgetsmadeeasy.com slash start. And this is a, just a free guide and a checklist to getting things together, getting your budget started, because that's really like the foundational place to start. And just keep in mind, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to never, you don't have to be perfect. And it will fail from time to time, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't get started and that you shouldn't get going. So let's do this. Let's get going and let's see what you can accomplish this year in just a couple of months. So let me know below. What are you going to do to get started this week? Just this week. Don't think about everything that you have to do. Start with just this week, what can you do to get going and get started? Let me know in the comments.